Basic walls are comprised of parallel layers of material. Those layers are always the same thickness throughout their height, but you can split a layer vertically to create separate regions within the layer and then apply a different material to a region. I'll click Default 3D View in the Quick Access Toolbar to switch to a 3D view. In the View Control Bar, I'll change to the Consistent Colors Visual Style. Then, from the Architecture Ribbon, in the Build Panel, I'll start the Wall Tool. In the Type Selector, I'll choose the Basic Wall, Exterior, Brick on Metal Stud and draw a wall from right to left so that the exterior face of the wall is facing south in the current view. I'll click Modify to end the command and then select the wall. In the Properties palette, I'll click Edit Type to open the Type Properties dialog. I'll click Duplicate to make a copy of this wall and name it Exterior Dash Brick and Stone on Metal Stud and then click OK. Then, in the Type Properties dialog, I'll click Edit next to Structure to open the Edit Assembly dialog and make sure that I'm viewing a Section Preview so that the tools in the Modify Vertical Structure section become available. These tools are not available when viewing a Plan Preview. I'll zoom in to the bottom of the wall in the Preview. Layer 1 is the exterior finish layer of this wall. Its material is currently set to brick. I'd like to have some stone below this brick. In order to split the brick layer, I'll click Split Region. Then, in the preview, I'll hover the cursor over the brick layer and a temporary dimension displays. I'll click to select the position where I want to split the brick layer. Note that after placing the split, I can click Modify and then click to select the split and adjust its position. I'll change it to 3 feet 4 inches or 1000 millimeters in the metric file. Also, I can measure this distance up from the bottom of the wall or down from the top. Now, in the layer list, the brick layer thickness appears as variable and is grayed out. But the thickness hasn't really changed. Now, in order to be able to assign a different material to the region I just created, I need to add a new layer to the assembly. Select the layer you just split and click Insert to add a new layer. I'll change its function to Finish 1, the same as the layer I split. Then, I'll click in the Material field, click the More button to open the Material browser, and find Stone. If the material you are searching for does not appear in the In Document Materials, you can look for it in the Autodesk Materials Library. I will scroll down to the Stone category and click to select it and then move my cursor over Stone on the right. With the material highlighted, an Add Material to Document icon appears. Click this icon to add the material to the In Document Materials list. Then click OK. Now, I can assign this new layer to one of the regions I created. I'll select the new layer so that the entire row highlights. Then click Assign Layers. And finally, click the outer boundary of the region below the split line. I can see that the region has changed. And notice that the thickness values have been automatically filled in. Both regions assume the thickness of the entire layer. Again, in a basic wall, each layer must have the same thickness throughout the entire height of the wall. If you need a wall that has a different thickness at various places through its height, use a stacked wall. I'll click OK to close each dialog box. Now I can see the resulting wall. When I switch to a realistic visual style, you can see the different materials even more clearly.